uh, the vision and the message we want yeah. to transfer today. And so I welcome the lectures, Alina Lazar uh, from Germany. She's a country chairperson of the ESD. For those who don't know um, who, who is ESD, European Society of Cosmetic Dentistry, uh, the biggest society for cosmetic dentistry in Europe. Um, we started actually 2003 already. Mm -hmm. And um, you can get member as a dentist, but also as a dental technician. So for us, it's very important uh, that we work together. So welcome, Mario. Um, Mario is right now in uh, Koblenz in a German uh, exactly. missing uh, Napoli a lot, clearly. But uh, so he can totally focus on uh, aesthetic dentistry and his work. And Luca, Good afternoon, welcome, Hello, everybody. Well. Luca is uh, a colleague, a dentist uh, from Bologna, as I just uh, learned. And you've seen the topics in the invitation. So, EI, is this the first webinar, Alina, from yes. the ESCD? <clears throat> Thanks to your idea, yes. your great idea. Uh, we normally have a study club, uh, ESCD Germany, which will be held uh, this year as well, as we hope. We are still full of hope on 4th and 5th of July. Would you like to say something to the study club in July? Um, we have uh, a study club uh, together with uh, Miladin of Milos. Uh, that is a photo course from Milos. And um, uh, the second day is a full digital uh, workflow together with me and with live case and all uh, all the information um i can send you via email or you can see on our page from escd website yes and and basically as you all realized already uh that we can communicate uh within each other we we decided for for english uh clearly because uh, it's much, much easier uh, to communicate not only with Italians. If you don't speak Italy, Italian, uh, English is a good solution, yes, um, yes. actually, and with all the countries, which I welcome. I see a huge list here, 66 uh, attendants at the moment uh, from a lot of countries all over Europe. So I'm very excited. Also, my friends from Switzerland are here, as I see. Best smile, welcome. All the best smile dentists. Dentists. Um, yeah, ESCD, we have an annual meeting as well. Then I stop it, then we start uh, with the lectures. Um, don't be scared. Uh, just to give you the information, the plan is to have it in Prague this year from 1st to 3rd of October with a massive program. Um, we have a lot of international lectures there. And um, any questions you uh, want to ask me or Alina, we uh, have a uh, we have a thread where you can, uh, is this a Q&A menu? If you look below uh, at your screen, question and answers, you can type in uh, any question you have. And we will, uh, mostly we will reply to them after the lectures or at the end. Uh, yeah, because yeah. within the lecture, clearly the lecturer has to focus uh, on his topic. Uh, but we don't have two hours lectures here. It's around 30 minutes each. Um, so it will be uh, quite relaxed. Okay. Uh, Alina, would you like to start? i like to start with my lecture. Oh, oh. <clears throat> Okay, so it's okay. You can see that? Yes, we can. Okay. Hear me? You, yes? Very okay. Okay, so then, uh, dear friends, uh, welcome to our first online study club from uh, ESCD Germany. And um, I had the great opportunity to open this study club with my lecture. The first of all, I like to show you a video message from our team, from uh, our chairperson from ESCD. And um, hmm? it's not possible. No. Yes. Can you hear it? 
Yes, we we see and everything. Our, yeah. our friend Violeta from Luxembourg uh, give us a surprise and uh, uh, give us a very nice video. And um, a message from me, no virus or a political situation can destroy our friendship and um, our passion for cosmetic dentistry. We started with Florin, that is our president from Romania. Portugal. Camila from London. Luca from Italy. Brother of Cleantis, huh? <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> so, and now, some words about me. My name is Alina Lazar. I am the chairperson for, for Germany. And uh, very important for me is uh, uh, I am the trainer for In Manalina and Press Manalina Live by the AIS Academy in London. And I am a part of Divas in Dentistry. <laughs> uh, for me, it's very important to show today in uh, my lecture and to bring together this part, the Alina therapy in cosmetic dentistry. And uh, in my office, I work with two systems from Alina. Uh, with, um, I work with uh, In Manalina and uh, clear smile aligner light. That is our team from trainer from IS Academy. Um, I don't know, you can see the website from IS Academy? Yes, we can. Um, and um, I was born in, I live in Germany, but I was born in Romania. And because that I give the courses for Romania. Okay, don't go. It stopped. 
<laughs> my mentor it was Steve Kureshi from IS Academy and uh, he helped me a lot in my work with Inman Alina and Clear Alina. But I don't know, I don't, can't go back. What can I do, Veronica? <laughs> uh, what happened? It's not, it's not go. I don't, can go. It's not uh, uh, related to the webinar, but I think uh, it's related to your uh, key point. Yeah. Keynote, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's happened now? Okay. We see the slide with uh, all the people, the mentors. Yes, but I don't can go back. Or, hmm. What's happened now? Okay, Veronica, uh, yep. can you can you go please with another another speaker? Yes, I must go. What I must so to show what's happened. Okay, uh, Luca, would you like to? Yes. Okay. Not a problem if you, I could uh, share my screen. So yes. Tell me, Alina, we can wait one more minute more. I think you have to ask, and you come back to the. Yes. Okay. Sometime. Can happen. I have just a digital mouse. <laughs> no, you can touch the arrow. If you don't, um, if you don't move the the. The lecture with the mouse, you can do that with the arrow, with the, uh, the screen. On your keyboard, on your keyboard. keyboard yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you trying to use the arrows or the touchpad? And you don't, can stop my presentation? Mm, no, I can stop your, sh your sharing of the mm -hmm. screen, your screen sharing, but I cannot stop your keynote okay but i can no. do that now no. okay ah, no no good good good, good. now it's, okay. it's good now. working ah. okay. okay let's go <laughs> so and now play again okay so and i uh, i try another one yes okay and now um, that is a typical case for uh, in Manalina, yes? And the question is, what will happen over time? It's already to do nothing now. That is the moment when we need to start with the aligner therapy. And why? Because we have patient, patient like this, and for this patient was too late. He come to me just for the two veneers in the upper. And uh, the first of all, what I do is just to show in the lower. And that was a situation with the crowding in the lower and for the, my patient was for the aligner therapy too late. I do the treatment, but that was a, um, a extraction case. And we do two veneers and in the upper, in the lower, the extraction. Another patient with the similar case uh, come to me for, uh, to, for the veneers in the upper. But what I, I, what I want to do to show what is in the lower. And we have this smile line and that is not the normal smile line. The problem was just the crowding in the lower. But in this case, it's a possible to treat with Zex clear aligner. And the situation after the treatment was a very nice result in the upper and the crowding was treated with Inman aligner and a little bit composite on the tit for one. And the situation after the treatment and we have a new smile line for the patient. 
Another typical case for the Inman aligner, that is a very uh, quickly case. I treat, uh, the treatment was just uh, 12 weeks. And uh, this is very, very nice uh, to see the patient are very motivated because it's very quickly. And after four, six, eight weeks, you can see a difference between from the beginning of the treatment and during the treatment. And that is motivated for the patients. Another case uh, with Inman aligner treatment, um, a student from Frankfurt. And in this case, I like to show the gingiva attachment. Uh, we have, after the treatment in the lower, a very nice white aesthetic, but, but we created a very nice pink aesthetic in this moment. So, and why aligner therapy? The question um, that I ask myself every time before starting the treatment planning is how much animal misses from the teeth and how much animal do I remove for the treatment? And preferably nothing. And that is possible with the aligner therapy. What aligner therapy? Because with the aligner therapy, we can change a very difficult case in a very easy case without having to sacrifice the dental tissue. A case like this, a very, uh, a case that is not so easy. And uh, after 14 weeks with Inman aligner, a little bit of crown lengthening and um, veneers and non prep veneers, we can have this result. And we just change a very difficult case with the aligner therapy in a very easy case. And now a simple case, the asthma closure, and we have for the asthma closure so many possibility to treat the patient. Uh, the diagnosis is large maxillary median diastema, 4.36 uh, millimeter. And the patient was uh, 19 years old, student, and lived 400 kilometer away from my office in Germany. The family history was the asthma and, and large labial trenum. And uh, he visited several dentists and the treatment planning was just the close the the closing the diastema. And of course, he didn't agree with such a plan. For many patients, is the asthma not a problem, but for my patient, it was a big aesthetic problem. And uh, the pictures in occlusion and in not occlusion. But the most important step is the planning. Uh, we need a very good planning to can work minimal invasive. And um, I use in my office the smile design protocol from Lamenka, but in the last time uh, I become from Luca the new smile design uh, protocol from Just Digital, and that is a very good uh, um, program uh, to give uh, the patient a smile design protocol. But I think Luca show in the end more uh, cases. So that is the smile protocol from the beginning, and we have a uh, hundred percent. Um, from the white to the, to the length, and that is not a really a good aesthetic result. And because that, the goal of the treatment was to create a symmetry, a better proportion between the teeth 1, 3 and 2, 3, and to be able to solve this case in a minimal invasive way, no preparation treatment. The next step is scanning, export to ortho software, and the planning. And uh, the art choice from my technician, my planning was to close the diastema with two millimeter and to create another position in the front area. And that is a 3D um, visualization from the planning. So I give the okay on my technician and the next step is the printing the models with 3D printer. Um, we, uh, we have in this case four aligner and uh, the produce the aligner and the template. And that is the reality. I gave him all the four aligner 
because he lives so far away and we communicate just via WhatsApp. And this is the first picture from him two weeks later, four weeks later, six weeks later. And the reality after fear aligner, eight weeks and crown lengthening is this. Uh, in this moment, we have a very simple clay case to close the diastema. This is another situation. And that is the second smile design. We have another proportion and uh, very easy to treat this case. And we have more possibility for the treatment. Why not? The first option is digital way, just to create the design, export to CAT CAM, and then printed the veneers, the full veneers, the crowns, whatever. This is one day solution with non prep and Plamenka CAT CAM solution. The second possibility is print the 3D model, create a silicon key. And with the silicon key, the composite contouring or mock-up. The next option, uh, the analog way, is wax-up, flowable technique. I use in this case the extra clear from GC for the silicon key. It's a very good material because it's very transparent and you can see all what you do. And as a composite, the genial universal injectable. So, and that is uh, the situation before, after for clear smile line light, and in the end. So, before and after the treatment. In the occlusion, before and after the treatment. So, and more pictures with the patient. This case was published in uh, the dentist with the help from IS Academy and uh, Tiff Kureshi, and in the end. <laughs> he giving me a nice smile. So, and now the most expensive way is wax up, mock up, and non prep veneers. And a similar case, but most expensive, uh, a patient who had five years of orthodontic treatment, but uh, she was uh, unsatisfied with the color, length, and white of your teeth. And in the front area, she had a diastema closure with composite. And that is the situation before. From the lateral. So after the bleaching, and I removed just the composite in the front area. And the situation for the before impression. That is the wax up for Mario. And the mocha. So the Mario posted one hour before I started the cementation. Uh, this picture with uh, 0 0.2 tremor time begin. And uh, that is really so because 0 0.2 is not so easy <laughs> for the adhesive cementation. Uh, part information from my technician, from the technique. So the tray in without tray in pass. And the situation after the cementation from the lips. And uh, we have 0 0.2 veneers, but we have color, we have structure, and uh, it's a very nice picture. So, but the most important is to see the color from the teeth and the color from the eyes. And in the beginning, that was not really nice. In the end, we have the same color for the, for the veneers with the color from the eyes. 
and that is the patient very happy the team uh, helps. that was a team with mario pace from koblenz and the last uh, case is a uh, full digital workflow uh, today i like to show just uh, uh, the planning and uh, the treatment with the clear aligner and uh, the end situation and um, the, um, the, the rest is uh, a part of the next study club. This is the patient, uh, the patient before, a very nice girl, but she was not happy with her smile. And is the, in this picture, we can see all the problem what she had. So, in the occlusion, and the first of all, it's very important to have a good planning, yes. Um, the goal is to work, in this case, minimal invasive. And uh, my planning was, the first, removing the composite from the teeth one, two. The second, the clear smile aligner therapy to create a diastema in the front area, the crown lengthening, and then the minimal preparation. We started with uh, the clear aligner therapy. That is the artwise from my technician, from Orthostrada. And that is the 3D simulation. And the situation after. So, and that is the planning. And that is the preparation. And in the preparation, um, I remove very, very uh, minimal from the animal. The situation before and after the preparation, the planning. In this case, we use the face scanning, but that is another topic. And that is the situation before and after. Before and after and the emotion from the patient. And this was the full digital workflow. Uh, this treatment uh, uh, as, as a technician was Miladinov Milos in Timishara and Arnold Foray. And in the end, um, I'd like to show you a video from my certification ceremony in Zagreb. And uh, I'd like to invite you okay. to visit our website this is a very very important moment for me our um, uh, web address and thank you very much <laughs> so Wolfgang I, I was I, thank I you Alina not, uh, I am not finished but it's okay <laughs> You're not finished. No, 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 it's I just okay. want to say you are exact in time. So 20, 20 we minutes can't left. Hear you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wolfgang, we can't hear you. Why? Okay, we can now. Now you can. Thank yeah. you, Alina, for that great presentation. And I just want to say you are so just in time. But you said you have other 20 minutes now. <laughs> no. No, you finished. No, okay, I'm, good. I'm finished. If, if you need the two minutes more, is it possible? Wonderful, wonderful cases. Uh, Alina, uh, you mentioned two, three very Im interesting uh, words. One is the goal of the treatment. I think that has to point it out. Yes. It's really decide when you plan that you calculate where might you end up. Yeah. Yes. With all this things. is a talk with a teeth. <laughs> The so goal of the treatment, fantastic. Um, so when, when you have spaces, one question I have, the gap, the guy with the huge gap, uh, 4.26 millimeters, was very impressive. 
So you do the smile analysis now with, with, with uh, which software and how do you transfer this data that you know how many aligners you will need to create exactly the situation okay. you are planning. Okay. Okay, we have by IES Academy, the SpaceWise, and uh, as, as a program, and I do as a doctor the planning, uh, and I can see what is the crowding, and uh, it's a possible to treat with the Inman aligner or clear and smile aligner light or not. For the Inman aligner, um, we have crowding just uh, to three millimeter, not more. And uh, I do my course in the space-wise program, and I send to my technician uh, the planning, my planning. And okay. my technician has the 3D software, auto software, and he do the video uh, with a, uh, with a uh, 3D uh, presentation. Thank you, Alina. I think uh, all the other questions now, Alina, or at the end? We do it I together. So we do it at the end. <laughs> so, Luca, is your wife ready? Are you ready? <laughs> yes, my <laughs> wife is ready. <laughs> okay, Always good. Always ready. Always ready. Yeah. Luca, I will start, please. Okay, I shared the screen before. Okay. Uh, you have to stop your screen, uh, you, your, your screen, Alina, please. So we can... Uh, okay. Share my screen. Uh, ba, 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 ba. You have to ask. I think because I can't uh, connect my computer. I don't see my screen now. Luca, try to share. Yes, I'm doing, but okay, I can. Okay, and I think uh, a pop up window is uh, ask, asking uh, to stop uh, the uh, others. Uh, screen no. sharing. I, I can see on the screen you are viewing Alina Lazar screen, so uh, I can't uh, to connect my computer. It's not a problem, but it's impossible. Stop sharing. Moment, I go. No, no, stop sharing. Uh, if you can control uh, Veronica, the screen. No, I Alina. can't. Unfortunately, ah, I'm sorry. I can't. So yes, right. okay, I did it. I did it. Okay, did it. Alina, okay. thank you very much. So. so it's okay now? Yes, yes. Thank you very much. Okay. And many compliments about your lecture. Many, many compliments. Okay. Good afternoon. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Luca Hortensi. I would like to introduce myself before. My name is Luca Hortensi, and I live in Italy. I'm a dentist. I live in a little town in the middle of Italy named Cold uh, Bologna. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank everyone for uh, uh, this opportunity. I know it is a very difficult period, but I believe we will pass soon. And I was so happy to, to, to watch on the video uh, your, your video, Alina, about the, your academy. It's, it was a so, so good, so, so a good situation for me. So um, today uh, my topics are uh, the digital workflow in the cosmetic dentistry. Um, and I have a clinical case that I want to share with you about an interdisciplinary approach. So I want to talk only uh, about one case, but I want to explain very well this case because it's so difficult for me. It's not only a simple cosmetic dentistry case, but I think is a, um, we need, a, a, we would like to have a total approach on this patient. So let's go. This is the patient, and uh, I treat her uh, one year ago with a, a digital, totally digital workflow. Uh, she uh, doesn't like her smile. She uh, wants bigger teeth. She wants uh, whiter teeth. She wants a correct symmetry of the gingival parables. And uh, um, she, um, she said to me, okay, uh, Luca, I want to improve my smile give me the simpler uh, therapy uh, because I don't want to, to have uh, orthodontic therapy. I don't want to have this therapy because I did it in the past and I don't want to have another one now. So this is the intravolar situation. You can see the different level of the parables and she doesn't like uh, this situation. She doesn't like and 
this is for me very important to have a symmetry of the parable. So I want to talk with the patient before to begin the therapy. I want to, to do a virtual planning because if I have a virtual planning, I can talk with the patient in the right way. So the, th the first thing that I do during my workflow, I took and I take in my daily practice and I took in the, the past of this patient two uh, images, two photos. And uh, I took this photo with my protocol, with our protocol. I'm sorry, I need to thank my friend Tommaso Vitali, Luca Lavorni, and all the, the study group of Just Digital. And thank you, Veronica, for your support. Thank you very much. So uh, I take two images, two photos with special glasses. Why we take photos with the special glasses? Because I know I want to have the real measure, the accurate measure of the face, the accurate measure of the teeth. I don't want to have images to talk with the patient. Yes, I want to talk with the patient. I want to share with their the, uh, the final situation. I want to have approach uh, um, um, to talk with them about the, the, the teeth. But after this phase, I want to do a therapy. I want to do a therapy and I use two photos to have a therapy. And if I want it, I have to use uh, a device on the head of the patient because if you want to have a correct measures of the face, you have to use some, some you have to use uh, these glasses or another instrument, but we use it on the head of the patient. So I take two photos. After that, I have the patient near me, close to me, and uh, I put these photos inside a 2D software. The name is a Digital Smile System. And this is a um, ortho version. And uh, I put this photo inside because I want to calibrate the photo. I want to, uh, to, to obtain, to get the, the T line. So I want to, to, to find the middle line of the phase. The, um, and uh, I want the calibration of the photo. I can do that inside this 2D software. Uh, you can see on the screen. And uh, I can check, and uh, this is very important. I can control the real measure of my, of my images because I can control the measure of my glasses. So as like you can see on the screen, I, I, um, I take some measure about this circle. These uh, glasses uh, um, um, have uh, um, two circles, two markers, so I can measure this marker and I can control the real measure of the face about it because I can do the calibration of the photo, the calibration of the images. So this is very important. After this uh, uh, moment, I um, build a digital preview I can talk with the patient, but when the patient said to me, say to me, okay, doctor, I love, I like this digital preview, I uh, send this information to my dental technician, in particular to my uh, nephew, Mark Hortensi. Hi, Marco. So if you have now a digital preview, I can talk with the patient, but I don't want only to talk with the patient, I want to do therapy. So. Uh, after this phase, I cut now the video because it's so long, I'm sorry. But after this phase, I can talk with the patient, I can talk with my dental technician, I will talk with my periodontist. So is all the all team, all components of the team uh, can understand my uh, plan of treatment. Now, so after this phase, so I took two photos of the face. I take two digital impression because I can use analog impressions, but I prefer to use digital impression in this face. I have two trios in my dental office and one he made it. And uh, I use these devices every day because I believe in this technology. Uh, and when I have two photos with the correct calibration, the final, the final digital preview, I send this information to my dental technician. And Marco Tensi uh, can uh, build, uh, can match inside a 3D software, in particular, for example, Exotet, but if you want, you can use a tree shape. 
he, uh, he makes, he do, he does a superimposition inside of this software, so he can build um, a mock-up, a digital mock-up. This digital mock-up um, or digital works is so important for us because it's not, it's not uh, only a, a design, it's, it's the true measure of the future smile of the patient. This is very important. So I can transfer, I can transfer this information to a 3D printer, to a 3D printer like in this situation, and I can try inside the mouth of the patient the new um, mock-up. It's very important. This is a mock-up directly from my digital preview. I can fit it inside the mouth and can I can change this uh, mock-up. I can use a bar. I can change the, the length. I can change the shape of the teeth. So I can talk with the patient. And when the patient said to me, okay, Luca, I love this mock-up. I take a new impression, a new digital impression of the final situation. And uh, I say to the patient, okay, you uh, do you like this situation? Okay, so if you do, do you like this situation, you like this situation, I send this situation, this new situation, this new digital impression to my dental technician. And now I can build what? Not the final restoration, because now if I have a different level of the gum, I have a, I have an asymmetry of the gingival parables. I want to cut the gum. I want to change the shape of the gum. And I want to, can, I want to do that with a surgical guide, a periodontal surgical guide. So I begin the period workflow. So I send this information to my dental technician and he, um, he um, did uh, for me a surgical guide. This is not a new this is not a new, it's true, because this system was published in an analog way in 1999. And now you can find on PubMed some papers about this technology, but only our group, and I'm sure about that, only our group can measure in the real situation of the patient, the real measure of the, this situation and can transfer to my whole group or my team the final situation of the patient with a little error, 0 0.2. If this is the maximum error. So I want to explain better. So when I see on the screen these measures, you can see this outline, this red line, and the dental technician call me and say to me, oh, oh Luca, sorry, but are you sure 2.3 is a is it the right measure? I prepare your surgical guide in this way. Yes, because remember, Marco, I have a error 0.2. So you can produce a digital, a surgical guide for me because I want to respect my final, my my the the last the last shape of my uh, mock-up. I want I want to uh, share this uh, idea with you. I want to to have in my dental office and inside the mouth of my patient, a surgical guide with the same shape and the same dimension. This is very important. So uh, with a, a perfect accuracy. So I can uh, say that because I published with my group, with Luca Laborni and all the group from Just Digital, and I did some thesis in my university where I teach prosthetic dentistry at the University of Catania and I study about it. I studied about it and I published with Luca and Tommaso and Laria about this hard way. So when I say to the dental clinician, please prepare for me a surgical guide with this dimension, you, you can obtain, you can get a perfect surgical guide. Now you can see on the video, on the screen, uh, you can watch a little video about the construction of the surgical guide. So Marco uh, makes a superimposition uh, from photos from DSS, from my digital impression, and uh, um, does it inside a 3D software. It's not important. This is a, a open workflow. You can do that inside Exocad, inside Reshape, inside uh, what you want. Uh, it's not important, but we want this type of workflow and uh, so Marco can uh, use uh, 
the digital walls can produce a mock-up and um, a surgical guide. The surgical guide, this kind of surgical guide, is like a bite. Is you have the same precision on the teeth. I don't want to to move the surgical guide during my surgery because it's very dangerous. And when I, the periodontist uh, asked me, Luca, are you sure about the measure? Yes, I'm sure. I'm sure with a, a little mistake, 0 0.2. This is the video, one uh, uh, ten seconds more, and I stop the video. Okay, now I produce a surgical guide. So I have different types of surgical guide. We have some guides from, old guy, surgical guide from Luca Lavornia, uh, myself, uh, my nephew. So we can build, um, a surgical guide like you want. For example, if you want only a, um, a level about your gum or if you want two levels inside the same surgical guide. So you can check the gum and you can check the bone after the um, after the, um, the surgery, during the surgery. So it's not important. If you can build, uh, you can build the surgical guide like you want. And this is very important. If you prefer uh, cut only the gum and to check the bone under the, the surgical guys is not important. Or you can prefer use, uh, to use a surgical guide with two levels where you can see the level of the gum and the level of the bone. Now, I didn't this surgery, but this surgery was uh, done in my dental office from uh, a friend from uh, Dr. Ricardo Stefano. Ricardo Stefani, he, um, he did uh, this surgery inside my dental office and they cut the gum in easy way because you can control in every moment the situation and you have the final shape of the teeth during the surgery. This is very important so you can control the bones and the level of the gum. You, are, you can see, uh, as you can see on the left, uh, some different uh, um, uh, steps of the surgery. Now, in this video, two minutes of video, I, I did a summary about this, um, this surgical workflow. So the patient, uh, this girl, uh, comes in my dental office, in my dental office. Oh, come on, the patient comes in my dental office, and I take two photos with special glasses, with glasses on the head. This is very important. When I talk with Christian Coach, when I talk with another uh, expert of DSD, I, I said always, I'm sorry, but if you take a picture, you have to use a device on the head. If you don't have a device on the head, you can't measure in the right way your images. This is very important. So at the first appointment, I take two photos and I prepare a digital preview for the patient where the, the, the outline is the um, best part and the most important part, because you can share this information, so the outline, with my dental technician, because you can uh, produce this surgical guide or in the uh, laboratory, or you can do that inside your dental office, because if you have a 3D print, it's so simple to have to produce a surgical guide inside. I know, look at California, for example, does does that every day but my nephew is near me it's close to me when i work so, so i uh, send this information to the dental oh, the laboratory um, to the laboratory so i can uh, have this surgical guide and i can use it during my surgery this is uh, uh, some steps of the surgery surgical guide in position cut the gum control the bone um, cut the bone is necessary and you can control with a new uh, mock-up the final result and you have the healing after one week or 10 days. So this is the workflow, the periodontal workflow. And uh, I think this is simple. Now, if you, um, if you don't believe it, you have to try because it is so simple to obtain, to get the same result. After this part, after the healing of the gum, I prepare teeth. I prepare this with the mock-up, okay? And, uh, um, now, you can see on the screen uh, um, elastomeric material for the uh, impression. So, I did an analog impression of the patient. Why? Why? 
I have three uh, intraoral scanner. Why I take this kind of impression? Because when I take an impression of uh, laminates, I prefer, I prefer, if I don't have uh, space from one teeth and another, I prefer the analog technique. When I have a space so my light, the light of my intraoral scanner can pass the teeth, I prefer to use intraoral scanner. And I did, um, I published some of these, trick, uh, these tricks on uh, paper. Uh, this is uh, the first. When I have, um, when I don't have a space from one teeth and another, I put uh, a matrix band from between the teeth. And I know, I know Mario, Mario Pace, this is a problem for me because the contact point, um, contact point is so hard, is stronger. So I have to control this point during the cementation phase. But I give you the space to work on the stone model. And this is more, very important. Second trick, second trick. When I prepare the tooth, I, I do a little hole with a round ball, a very little hole or two on the uh, surface, on the frontal surface of the tooth, because I want to have a, um, a position, I want to have a correct position of the laminate during the cementation phase. If you cement under them, and I want to do that, I always want to do that, you can't lose the control about the contact point. So I want to put this laminate on the teeth in a, in a perfect way. And this is the second trick. But if you want to improve the position of your tooth, I use uh, this uh, kind of clamp. Uh, I use a uh, ivory number nine, and I change the shape of um, ivory number nine because if you want to cement your laminate under the dam, always I do that. I want to find the right position of the laminate. So this is the workflow the, about the cementation. I use uh, um, this silicate here uh, from Roberto Bonfiglioli. This is a simple desilicate. And it's not important this adhesive. I don't want, I don't take money from 3M. It's, it's not important for me, but this is the correct overflow. So I prepare my laminates, I prepare my teeth, and I cement my laminates on the patient with the dam. If I want to use the dam in every day, I want to use the, the dam in my daily practice, sometimes I would have to change the the shape of the clamp. So this is the third uh, trick that I used during my daily practice. I changed the shape of the clamp with a little bar um, before the cementation. So I have to change uh, uh, often uh, my clamp, my clamps because uh, uh, it's not good to, to, to change the shape to, to, to cut some metals, but I think it's the better way. So I change the shape of the clamp. So when I um, make the cementation phase, I have more space. Look my hands, please. So I have more sp space to put my laminate on the tooth without the, uh, the presence of uh, my clamp. So uh, I think this is a good uh, trick or, I'm sorry, but I use it because I prefer to use it under the gun, under the dam where I, uh, I want to, to have this trick during my activity. So this is the final part of my, of my, uh, of my lecture. So this is, was the beginning of the therapy with the uh, initial images of the patients or the patient. And this is the final result uh, of the patient after uh, three or four months, I don't remember. So. Uh, I think this is a good result. I have to thank Roberto Bonfiglioli that helped Hazard to, to complete this uh, clinical case. Now, I want to make a summary. Uh, I have a, a five minutes more, I believe, of Wolfgang. So, I use this digital workflow, and the first step is uh, to take pictures of the patient to take images. If you want, I can uh, uh, tell more about the facial scanner because uh, uh, to take uh, images of the patient is a, a simply, um, uh, is a simply um, uh, activity that we do every day in our dental office. But if you take 
if you take some images, you have to use these images. If you want to use it during a, a, a workflow, you have to, to use glasses or a device on the head of the patient. In the, at the second, I use, uh, I send this information in 2D software, this is my system, and uh, I prepare a digital preview for the patient. After I send this information, the final result with the red outlines to my dental technician. My dental technician made, the, uh, made a superimposition inside a 3D software. So with photos from DSS, digital impression, and so he can uh, do a perfect superimposition. And uh, when uh, you do that, the error, the mistake is, is so uh, low. Is ha we have a uh, we have a error so low? It's true, and you can uh, uh, read our uh, our publication. And at the end, you can uh, move on the um, digital workflow. You can produce laminates. Uh, how you can uh, see now today I can uh, talk about uh, the entire digital workflow. So because at some time I produce. Um, composite laminates in a, a direct uh, uh, digital workflow. So I don't use the models like you uh, have, um, I've, have just uh, shown uh, um, Alina. So I think it's very important this type of workflow if you want to, to have a perfect result or a good result. So I have uh, just finished. If you have some question, I'm already here for Luke, you. Free, Luke, uh, free, mm, feel Luca, free. Yes. yes, yes. There is a question, a written question that uh, popped up in the Q and A chat, and it's uh, one week of healing after crown lengthening is enough no. to proceed with prosthetic work. No, one week uh, is not true. I didn't. Uh, I didn't say one week. I remember the article from Gianfranco Carnevale. So I wait six months and depends from the tissue. If you wait one week, it's impossible. I cut, uh, I control, I check the patient after 10 days, but the healing is after six months. And if you have uh, um, a, a, a different type, if you have a, a special type of gum, you have to wait one year sometime. It's true, if you want the perfect result. I don't, I don't cut, I don't prepare my laminate or uh, under, the, under the gum. So if you want to wait, you have to wait six months or more. Um, one week is impossible <laughs> in the literature. I, I remind you to the, to the article of Gianfranco Carnevale and, uh, and, and others. So I'm sorry, but uh, maybe I, I did one week, but uh, sorry, but uh, six months. One more uh, question? No. No, that hey, was Luca, the only I'm, one. Was the only one I see, yeah? Do you hear me, Luca? Thank you very much for your attention. Hello? Yes, Wolfgang, I'm here. You I'm hear me? Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, be some, some of the orthodontists are still a little bit shocked about the Perio slides, I think, uh, you've shown. <laughs> um, but uh, very nice. Hi, well, what is the wording you use for the patients? Uh, uh, definitely not, we cut away some of your gums. What is the positive wording that they say yes to it? No, wait. When uh, you talk with the patient, I don't show the, this type of images, you, you, you know. No, I clearly think, not. No, no, yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, I talk with the patient and uh, I show on the screen uh, with the patient the digital preview. And I show the real situation of the mouth of the patient and the future situation. And, and I tell to the patient, uh, please, uh, um, please, Marta, this, this girl, the name of the girl is, is Marta. Please, Marta, look, if you want, to improve your symmetry of the gum, you have to cut the gum a little bit. You have to touch, I have to touch your gum. I have to touch, no, no cut, sorry. <laughs> touch I have your gum. To... Thank you, Luca, nice. Oh, only the gum, only the gum, because my wife is in Yes, London. okay. Now, I think we have to hurry up, uh, but thank you, Luca, great presentation, clearly.
And now we get the um, final inspiration, Mario. Is that correct? Please go, go Yes, ahead. I have to leave uh, the, my, my yep. screen. Sorry. I already, I already did it for you. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Veronica. You're welcome. You see my screen? Not yet. You have to click on your share screen button in the bottom toolbar. Yeah, one moment, please. Yeah. yeah. It's the middle of the screen, Mario, in the bottom. Oh, okay. Yes, 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 sorry. No okay. problems. Okay. Okay. So you my screen now? Not yet. Yes, now here we are. Yes? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay, to my passions. Uh, first time, uh, thank you all for invitation, uh, particularly uh, and Alina Vazza for the great idea. And uh, um, I want to begin with a little bit uh, uh, from my uh, home city. Um, I was born in Naples, and uh, uh, this is a little bit part of my home city. Uh, um, I show this because uh, I think it's very important uh, for, uh, for the participants uh, uh, to say and uh, to uh, feel uh, why I do what I do and uh, uh, why I choose my colors or my form. Uh, I was inspired from this. This is, uh, this is for me very important. Uh, the light, the shape, uh, the colors, uh, the sun, all this uh, uh, part is in my soul. And uh, I, I try for all my work to, uh, to share in my work. This, uh, um, this is a sentimental part of me. And uh, it's uh, very important to do very natural. Uh, if, you, um, uh, if you want to replay a natural uh, thief with your passion, with the, uh, all your uh, uh, sentimental part, uh, your empathy for the passion, that is very, very important. Uh, this is my new home city. I live uh, since uh, uh, 1992 um, in Germany in a small city. This is since, and this is my team or, or a part, a little part of my team. Uh, this is um, the labor uh, on the company. The name is. The Kimmel Technik, a very big company with uh, uh, more labels, uh, not only in uh, Koblenz. And uh, the first uh, question is, uh, which, uh, which is the, uh, the at the moment, the yeah, the the part, the the uh, if the technique, dental technique in the modern aesthetic, and uh, always is in two parts to say. We have uh, bleach or natural, yes? And uh, this is the patience. The patience is uh, like uh, an apple with a little uh, danger, the mage, and uh, uh, the color is not best uh, because these apple are, are living. Um, and uh, more patients want 
these solutions, yes? White, 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 white. And my uh, directions is more this one, yeah? I, I, I want uh, completed uh, and uh, uh, more naturally uh, uh, result and result to have. Yes, uh, we need only to reconstruct it and complete it, more not. And uh, this is a little film with your passion, with your idea, you can uh, try to all what in your Health is patience is for me for me the key of success. Reconstruction. We need more patients, not only digital. Uh, we work in principally with hands and with brain. For me, it's uh, always the, the key for a good job. Not only machine, not only computer. We need uh, more humanity for here. But sometimes we have uh, a bad patience, but you can have a good result. Uh, what, what you need uh, for device on um, to have a, a good reconstruction or a good rehab? Communications is the, the first one. Uh, communication into uh, doctor and uh, the patients on the patients with the doctor on the, uh, the the patients uh, with uh, dental technician on the dental technician with uh, the doctor and uh, photos as pictures is in the, uh, uh, in very important features on to if uh, uh, on to do uh, um, a good job for the future and uh, the shape well, uh, my technique is the, uh, the base is the full ceramic when you have a full ceramic you need uh, a uh, stamp color this is very important for the end result um, when you have this chromic stamp uh, it's very important to have this information. Uh, this is uh, uh, when I have not this information. This is uh, a roulette game. Okay, not Russian roulette game, but uh, similarly. This information is for me the very, very, very important. Um, you need for the colors um, is a, a very small instrument. This is a, a small light, a smile light. Uh, smart lighting instrument uh, replay the uh, light uh, daylight and uh, 5300 uh, uh, grad kelvin uh, this is the, the real daylight and you have a uh, uh, polar filter uh, you need for uh, polar filter is uh, uh, from um, picture with polar filter is a device. This is the uh, bio emulation uh, filter of um, polar eyes. But you can see uh, these pictures. And with these pictures, pictures I can see uh, what, what is the very chroma zone or the very in uh, intensive transfer center zone. Olive smile, yes, is very uh, 
in the media, uh, in, the, uh, in the journal or in films, uh, is the, um, the very big message. They come from USC and uh, um, this, uh, this mode is uh, very uh, exp expensive for me, uh, but it is not my, uh, my, my idea for, for, for aesthetic, for aesthetic. This is a young uh, patient who say me, I would like to eat only the four uh, incisors, superior incisors, uh, a bleach, well, a bleach zero. Say, I say it, this is impossible. Look at that, you have a, a color is not the, the higher and you need uh, a natural colors. Uh, and they say me, that is for me not important. My grandma pay my teeth. Okay, <laughs> this is no problem. But what is the result? This is the result, yes. And for me, this is uh, not aesthetic, not real aesthetic. This is for me cosmetic, okay? Uh, I, I am not uh, uh, the, for me, was not very satisfied to to do uh, uh, this cross, but I I must hit my tell <laughs> my uh, uh, my uh, company say we we needed to work. Uh, for me, the the key for uh, uh, successful rehabilitation is opalescence. Opalescence is uh, uh, natural light transmission. We have uh, uh, by uh, natural light transmission, uh, orange or bluish uh, colors in the diff, in natural diff. Or you can do Ripley with uh, opal uh, uh, cer ceramic. And this is a Cetra Serum, this is my ceramic or my product, what I use. Uh, this, this, this is the first example for opalescence. Uh, this is the, the situation on um, preparation. This is not the, the, the best, but it's not a problem. It's not a problem. And this is the solution. Uh, when you see we have a, a bluish or uh, purple reflection and the uh, incisor each, or this is the natural, like the uh, incisor, and uh, when I see the posterior part of my tooth, you see the natural effect from opalescence. And this is the, the natural tooth. as very fantastic and natural. My first case, this is a pic of a uh, um, dental office. And the, the, not a picture of me, but important is I have uh, uh, materials uh, on, to say, uh, on to see what I need for my uh, new, uh, new clients. This is uh, uh, the, we have a problem with this papilla on the old crowns uh, with uh, not the best uh, uh, shape on the best colors. And uh, uh, this is the surprise under the crowns. We have a discrimined uh, substrate and uh, this is a very uh, big problem. Uh, what, what, uh, what is, what is the best material on to on the top uh, on to deck this uh, uh, this uh, dark substrate? Uh, maybe is a zirconia or opaque zirconia, but this is not my idea. We have to replace this tooth. We have a, a very very uh, highest uh, value. Uh, the is bleach tree. And I, my idea was, uh, it's better uh, to choose a, a silicate copy uh, with the, the color split two. And this is the choice, my copy and my library cross. And this is my result. You see the value in the uh, 
indices are marginal age is very, very good. It's supported from, from my copy. And to lips view. on the, the patients after 50 months, you see the soft tissues is completed, regenerated. And this is my idea for uh, aesthetic. My lips view. On the next case, uh, middle old uh, patients complete uh, upper re re rehabilitation is a, a, a purpose of uh, uh, materials. We have zirconia, bridges, uh, overlay, uh, and veneers uh, on front. On the, um, uh, this is a, a silicate crowns only painted on this is the, the end result. We have a, a new uh, line of uh, uh, of the lips and close-up photo on some details of layering. Another key is uh, this is a preparation for uh, thin veneers. The model and the wax modulation and this is the this is the uh, crowns the silica uh, silicates crowns after the press, adapted on the model and attachment bronze. Uh, this is my technique. Um, denting and a little bit cut. And in the middle, uh, a very uh, um, high um, opalescence uh, with the high value on contrast with violet in this zone and bluish opal mesial and distal and mammalons on into the mammalons contrast with a bluish opal this is after firing on after the glaze the glaze is with pumice with ends. The palatinal port on the end result. You see the light communication, the surface communication with low teeth. Um, this is a, a pick with uh, a polarized filter. You can see my skills is very, very close to nature. Another case, four crowns, very bad peak from uh, uh, another um, uh, cabinet office, uh, dentist office. My fear crowns. on the fear clouds on the mouth. It's a very important to have integration. Um, or say, I say, uh, I prefer to say mimesis. Mimesis is the, the art of chameleon, uh, not to compare in the nature. <laughs> and this is my, um, my idea uh, from aesthetic, for aesthetic, a natural aesthetic. And the, the palatinal view is for me very important for the shape, the function uh, on for the, the speech, okay? Another case, uh, 
a little bit complicated. Two crowns and one veneer, uh, veneer. you need uh, not two uh, uh, ingots, only one. In, in this case is a LTE, low translucency uh, ingots. The same technique works, press it on the final result in the mouth. On the surface is the key, the key of uh, a very natural uh, light transmitted. Another case, uh, we have a patient with uh, a diastema, but the position of the lateral incisor, the, this was uh, the big problem for the patients. And this is, this is the preparation. My four veneers, the, the probe, the trying, after a week, and after one month, and uh, sometimes we have a challenge. Uh, the one tooth or the one tooth is for, from a dental technique that the, the most big challenge to have in the uh, in the Mario, lab. we can't hear you anymore. You see me not? No, I can hear you. We can hear you now. Thank you. Okay. okay. It's okay now? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, I, I saw that um, this is for me, the, or for a, a lot of dental technicians, uh, the, the challenge, the one single crown. And uh, when you have this situation, it's very complicated to replay uh, uh, a tooth that uh, very natural or close to, to, uh, to the uh, tooth to replay. This is the, my first one on the was not bad, but not perfect. The chroma was near, but not the best. And the, the incisal edge was not the best. And the second is very, very good, okay? Uh, it was very important to replay this quick line, but uh, in this, uh, it is a part of it to, to have uh, an interruption of light transmission. And you need to replay to have the best result. On the side, and 12 hour peak. Uh, I think it's very, very natural, but uh, sometimes you need to have uh, a little more patience. <laughs> the first one is not the best, maybe the second. Uh, sometimes the second is no, uh, not the best solution. You need to, to, to turf. Uh, a big work, completely, completely uh, hopper. Uh, you have this device to control the, the, the shape and the surface, uh, a gold powder, and uh, the drying, and this is the, the final. Uh, the posteriors are on, um, monolithic crowns, and uh, the fronts layer it. Two fronts, this is uh, not the, the best uh, chair side provisional. On there, they are my crowns, but finally in the mouth. So, the next one with bleach ingots and the final result. 
Uh, another case uh, with the uh, platinum foil technique, the triangle, very thin uh, veneers. And the end result. Before, on the with Williams, other side, and with lips. Uh, this is a very important way, sometimes a very uh, uh, good precision with the silicate is, uh, uh, to achieve. And this is the end result. Uh, sometimes it's complicated. We have a lot of uh, material. We have for the bridge zirconia and for the veneers. Uh, uh, silicate for the single crown uh, silicate this is the preparation trying and the end result uh, the difficulty was to have two materials with uh, a, a, a different uh, thing and um, i think is that the end result uh, very good And another case, my technique, uh, the surface and after the glaze firing, Thank you very much for attention and thank you Alina for your invitation. It was great. <laughs> Mario, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Yes, thank you very much. Mario is my technician and I am so happy to have you in my team, Mario. Thank you very much. Thank you for your... <laughs> Many compliments, Mario. Bravo. Thank you, Luca. Thank you very much. The, the, I think it's maybe not the, 
the aesthetic was uh, uh, attempted, but it's uh, uh, the natural aesthetic for me. Yeah, uh, yes. I have to replay the nature, of yes. not um, um, white. <laughs> no, I know, I know. <laughs> okay. I know. Uh, Mario, thank you again from my side. Um, there was a question actually from one person. Let me look. He raised his hand. Many compliments you get here, top Mario. Thank you. They all want you your Fiat Cinquecento, I think. It was a Fiat Seicento. Wonderful. Yes. Okay, so we learned totally, for, for me, I, I just realized I have to work on my, the sentimental uh, part uh, in dentistry. So I, I, I knew emotional dentistry. Uh, yes, I don't know who, who created that, but you created now sentimental dentistry. Wonderful. Yes. <laughs> for me, it's very important to have uh, um, empathy with patients. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's true. Very good. Not too much time to, to uh, achieve this, but it's uh, the, the first uh, choice. Give empathy with your patients. This is very important. Alina, that was a nice closing word, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> I think that <laughs> Mario is an artist. <laughs> it's an artist. Uh, yes. Yeah, I hope. Uh, okay that we could fascinate you uh, for more uh, in cosmetic dentistry. So now you know Alina, our country chairperson in Germany. And by the way, I forgot to mention, Mario is the country chairperson for dental technicians uh, in Germany. So if you're interested, uh, feel free to contact us, please. Is there an email, Alina, where the people can write to you? Yes, uh, I have on the last slide for my presentation, but no, <laughs> I say my email address for all uh, when you have questions, can ask via email and uh, when I have time, I, uh, I can answer. Uh, the email is info at praxislazar.de. Praxislazar together. Info at praxislazar.de. Perfect. So, Thank you very much. Thank you much, Luca, Mario, Alina. Last, uh, online ESCD Study Club. Thank you, Thank Luca, you to give us the possibility to have a very nice uh, study club. And thank you, Veronica, for all yeah. what you do. <laughs> yes. yes. Thank you, Germany. Thank you, world. Bye bye. You You're welcome. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Oh. Bye bye. Thank you, Veronica. Grazie, Veronica. Thank you very much. Ciao. Ciao, Veronica. Grazie. Ciao a tutti. Arrivederci. Bye bye. Arrivederci.